Blessed be the name of our Jesus Christ. Today I have a very important message uh, for all the viewers who are listening, especially for my brother in Christ, Jonathan Khan, and all the people for the U of the U.S. that the day of the Son of Man has come. That God is asking me to reveal this thing and the secret of the number 17, how the 17th day is the day of the Son of Man. It's, this message is especially especially for my brother Jonathan Khan who is in Christ and 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 he's revealing all the shadows of the Bible from the from the Old Testament to the New Testament and God is ask, also asking me that you should share this message to the people of the US and also as well as to the as well as to the Jonathan Khan also and what God is asking me I've written down all the things and I it, it helps you a lot to understand how God is uh, using his nature the sun and the moon at the star and all the signs are indicating that the day of the son of man has come the day of the Son of Man has come and his day is 17. As it is mentioned in Matthew 24, verse 37, As the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. What happened in the days of Noah? It says, It begins on the 17th day of the second month and ended on the 17th day of the seventh month. The flood of Noah, you know very well that the, that the flood of Noah began on the day 17th of the second month and ended on the day 17th of the seventh month. And it further says, and I have a very important message is that, that the sun and the moon and the star has signed for the son of man. And all of them indicate that the 17th is the day of the son of man coming. In 2017, the star or meteor that fell in the Lake Michigan is the star of the coming of the Christ or Messiah. See, the year is same as 2017. What I'm asking over here is that in 2017, the star, a star has been captured in the Wisconsin and it also, it also been mentioned in most of the news and it says that the star, we have never seen this star before and the, the way it blew out and it fell in the Lake Michigan, it shows and the God is also showing me that in the same time, I was also recording that even in my area in Pakistan at war, God is showing me that this is the star of my coming and this is the star of the Christ, the Messiah, second coming. And furthermore, it says and furthermore, God is revealing me that in 2021, the previous year, there are two lunar eclipses and two solar eclipses. Total four major events happened in 2000, 2021. Two lunar eclipses and two solar eclipses. The first lunar eclipse and first solar eclipse happened with an exact difference of 16 days. The first lunar eclipse happened on 26 May 2021 and the solar eclipse happened on 10th June 21. And the next, and the next exact 16 day difference, this is a difference, this, this event happens in the mid of the year and the difference of this, the lunar and the solar eclipse, the difference is 16 day difference and the, this exact 16 day difference happens at the end of the year of the, of the 21. You can find this all teaching on the dateandtime.com. You can find it on the Google and search it out that these major events happen in 2021 or not. Is this a coincidence that, that the same 16 day difference happen on, uh, on, 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 on the solar eclipses that happen on the 19th November and the and the solar eclipse happened on the 4th December. What I'm saying over here is that that on the 19th November a lunar eclipse happened and on the, tw and the, and on the 4th December 2021 there is a solar eclipse also happened and what it shows that when you count the difference of the mid of the year and the end of the year you will exactly find the same difference of the 16 year and what it what what's the, what's what's what god god is telling you god is telling you that in the sun in the moon and the star all indicates that 2017 or the 17th number is the day of the son of man B. Is this really a coincidence that the four events exactly happen with a 16 day difference? I believe that after 16, what comes after 16? It comes the 17 and 17 is the day of the son of man. And this is a shadow, a shadow. What happens exactly? If you go in the Genesis, you will find that the flood begins on the 17th day and the ark rested on the 17th uh, day. Joseph, Joseph was 17 year old when he was feeding the flock of his father and Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 
for 17 years when when he came to the to Joseph and Jacob lived over there what exactly the thing is 17th is the day and it marks the beginning of the son of man is to come what I'm, what God is asking me that you should ask the US or ask for the repentance the US need repentance and it will be the same as in the days of Noah so will be the coming of the son of man be if the nation don't repent if the nation don't repent the flood of the son of man will take them away and no will will be able to survive this is this is the judgment and if the people don't repent the judgment and the exodus is coming for them thank you i want you uh, brother jonathan khan to preach this message to all the people in the us and and may god bless you all of you brothers and sisters in christ amen